y'all, Sam here, and it is time for Ipsy versus Ipsy. So these are my July Ipsy bags. Um, this one, I'm guessing, um, had a little malfunction, and they cut it and resealed it. But that's fine. As long as everything's in there, I'm not complaining. I'm sure you all know Ipsy is $10 a month, and each month you get a bag and five sample to deluxe size sample products. I'd say more so sample but sometimes you'll get a full size, you never know. That's always a magical day. The first bag we are going to open is my bag that I have set up the profile on. It has all my accurate information about me. And let's see if they got me right and got me stuff that I love. So the first thing in my bag is two sheet masks, which I do love. Y'all all know I love me some sheet masks and they have coffee beans on them. So I'm wondering if they're gonna smell like coffee. It says they have coffee seed extract in them. So, man, I really kind of want to crack one of these. We're gonna have to crack one. We're gonna have to crack one open just a little bit and see if we smell coffee. It's got the faintest coffee smell. I wish it was like a little bit stronger. Here is the bag this month. I love the bag. It's like a very metallic, I would almost say holographic because it does kind of get the rainbow shift in there. So these are definitely the July bag. And let's see what I have inside. First thing I have is a lipstick. Love this packaging. It looks like, like a donut. It's from Half Baked and it's called Lip Fondant. Okay, so the color is called Girl Crush. Um, y'all. The lid of this is so stinking cute, but this is freaking orange, like super orange. We're gonna go ahead and put her on though. Let's see. What I don't like about orange lipsticks is a lot of times they'll make your teeth look yellow and nobody likes yellow teeth. So it has a traditional doe foot applicator. So here is Girl Crush on. Um, it's okay. I am. I'm kind of disappointed that this product does not smell or taste like cake batter. I mean, you have all this cute baking product motif to your packaging, but it tastes like a plastic shower curtain. And this does make my teeth look yellow. Don't you think? This is not something that I'll be wearing. All right, next we have here a Seba Med Liquid Face Wash for sensitive skin. I can always use a face wash. This is a good size. I'd say this is at least half an ounce. Oh wow, it's 1.6 fluid ounces. That's a lot. So that's a good size. Next I have a purple eyeliner pencil and this is from Sugar, which I mean, I'm excited that it's not black. We got a different color this month and ooh, that's very pigmented. So that is a swatch. I did it kind of wide, but I'm sure you could get a finer. I mean, it glides like it's silky smooth. I'm going to let this swatch sit here for a second so we can see how smudge proof it is because with my hooded eyes, if it's not smudge proof, I can't wear it. And then the last item in this bag is a Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. This powder is amazing. I've bought it several times myself before. And this, I'm very happy to get. It's a small sample, but this will probably last you at least a week or two. So that was bag number one. Now let's roll into bag number two. So here is bag number two. I didn't have anything in the bag itself. So the first item I see is an eyeshadow from Ofra Cosmetics. And this does not excite me because it's black. Here's the eyeshadow. It's in a metal pot, so you can put it in a Z palette. I can't tell you the last time I wore black eyeshadow. So it's probably not something I'll use very often, but let me rub my finger in here and we'll do a swatch. It has a little bit of like gray glitter in it. Eh, I mean the pan size is huge. I just wish it was like a color I would use, like a gold or champagne or red or brown or orange. Anything but black pretty much. <laughs> All right, what else we got in here? Looks like we have something from Mana Dakar. And this looks like it is also a powder. It says step two, polish, flawless finish dual powder. 
So yes, this is in Flawless Ivory. And I'm not going to even open this because I've gotten one of these before. It works fine. It's just pretty much a light powder. Okay, so in this one, we got another mask. And this is a Feel Restored Self-Warming Mask. Even though it's like in a foil packet, I'm kind of like loving this packaging. It's amazing how adding like the little rubber tip to get the product out easier makes it feel so much more expensive, but it's really just a foil packet. And then it looks like we got another mask. Man, Ipsy knows I like mask because we're getting a lot of those this month. We got a Time to Clear Facial Mud Exfoliator and it says it's clear has a safety seal on there. Okay, so the big writing of clear doesn't mean the product's clear because it is obviously not, it's yellow. We'll rub it in there. It definitely has some fine um, like granules in it. it smells nice and clean, like soap. <laughs> so that's okay with me. I'd rather it smell like soap than be like super florally. And then the last item in this bag is another one of these pencils. Again, it is in the purple color. And let's go ahead and see if this swatch is um, dry down and if it's smudge proof. So as you can see, it did transfer some. It doesn't seem to be completely smudge proof. Overall, I'm pretty happy with both of my bags this month. So that's definitely a plus. I would have to say that the box I like the most would probably be my traditional box that knows me even though I do not like this lipstick at all um, but I do like the sheet mask the Lori Mercier the purple eyeliner and I think I'd use this cleanser more so than I would use the exfoliating cleanser so that's just my thoughts what do you guys think which bag did you think was better this month bag number one or bag number two well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd love for you to join the Glam Slam family. And until next time, bye y'all.